Israel says that the goal is the physical destruction of Hamas as a resistance force, meaning that Israel want to make sure Hamas will never again be able to launch an attack like they did on October 7th. And the destruction of Hamas as a political force, that means that Hamas will not play any role in the governing of whatever Palestinian entity exists when this conflict is over. Israel has failed on both accounts. Hamas is pow you know, powerful. Sinwar is the leader. He hasn't been killed. Um, and the, the resistance fighters you know, are not only continuing the resistance, but they've recouped many of their losses. Um, one of the things about bombing civilian populations, especially in a uh, guerrilla type conflict, is uh, for every terrorist you kill, uh, you end up killing a whole bunch of innocent civilians, which means that you create new terrorists, new new resistance fighters who come out. And Hamas has, I think, claimed that they've uh, in, you know, brought in 3,000 recruits during this time. Um, and they say, well, what about training? Well, the resistance fighters in Gaza, uh, Senwar talks about children of the camp. These are all children of the camp. Every one of the fighters he has is a child of camp. What that means is that you were born and raised in Gaza. You know Gaza like the back of your hand. Um, and that's, that's the key. They know Gaza like the back of their hand. The Israelis don't. They're coming in. It's foreign territory. Um, and they're never going to win. That's the same thing in, 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 uh, in southern Lebanon. Hezbollah has spent 18 years preparing for this. They've walked every inch of that ground. They have everything pre-designated. They have their ambushes set up. And Israel is just going to walk into one trap after another trap after another trap. Um, it'll go on forever. Israel has said that their goal and objective now with, uh, with Hezbollah is to eliminate it as a, a political entity and as a military entity. 